I was just that girl who was pushing, pushing myself hard, you know, to just achieve everything. Uh, but at the back of my mind, I was a, a performing artist. Herzlich willkommen, benvenuti, and welcome to Some Good News. I'm your host, Giuliano Lenz. This is another special episode on how to be positive. This time, I'm joined by an actress who's been in many Bollywood movies, in international movies like the Oscar-nominated Lion. She's been in ITV's period drama Beecham House, and you can now watch her in the cinema starring Tom and Jerry. Oh, and of course, you can also watch her in the Netflix hit show The One. And if that isn't impressive enough, she also has a degree in law and a degree in media and communications. Yeah, that's two degrees on top of all of that. Welcome to Some Good News, Pallavi Shada. All right, Pallavi, thank you for being on Some Good News. I'm so excited to have you on the other side of the world at the moment. So you're now in? I'm in Toronto, Canada. In Toronto, Canada for next project coming up. For the next project, I'm here to start shooting a Netflix rom-com. Oh, Netflix rom-com. Well, someone's got to shoot the movies that we watch all day when we're <laughs> in the house. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I'm here in quarantine uh, before I go out and, and war with whatever's happening outside this house. Tell me a little about this, this moment. And that's something I'm really curious about. If it was a moment where yeah. you decided... I'm going to be a working actress and not go for the life of a lawyer because you had an offer on the table from a law mm -hmm. firm and yes. you turned that down. Yes. Tell me a little bit about this because this is too crazy. I want to know. Oh, more. gosh. Well, I, um, you know, I was studying at Melbourne University uh, and the law school there is a very prestigious law school. And I got in when I was very young. I was 16 when I started law school and It was, I was just that girl who was pushing, pushing myself hard, you know, to just achieve everything. Uh, but at the back of my mind, I was a, a performing artist. And I think I was almost trying to find out all the things I didn't want to do to make sure I still wanted to do that in a way. So like a really perverse process of elimination, which involved a lot of hardship. <laughs> And extra hours reading. Um, and then, you know, when I was, I guess, 19-ish, I was already in my fourth year at university and everybody was a few years older than me but really had figured out that they wanted to be lawyers. But I was like, I don't even... You know, I was so lost in these law classes that one, one class, I think, all of the justices, all of the high court judges, their surname as they were written in my view were like all started with J because it would say like, and justice Brennan J Gordon J. And I was like, isn't that interesting that all of the high court judges have surnames starting with J like, I'm going to raise this. It's random, though. it's random. No. So I put my hand up and then the teacher just looks at me and she's like, the J just st stands for justice. You realize that. And I was just like, Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'm in the third year of law school and I haven't figured that out yet. So I, it's clear my passion wasn't, wasn't with the judiciary. Um, but yes, it's so stupid. And then I, I got the job because that's what you did, you know, tick another box. So you're a trained Baranatiam dancer. Yes. And it seems to me that dancing has always been your passion. And what I'm interested in, do you think that that passion for dancing has contributed or to this day maybe contributes to you being positive? I think it is when I'm dancing. I think the problem is I also go through phases of not dancing anymore because, you know, you just, when you're not in training, like I used to be when I was younger, it's easy to just not do it. And then I just realize that all I have to do is move and everything is better again. It's, It's a hard thing in the last few years as acting has kind of taken over as my profession and dancing is kind of like the hobby in a way. I'm fundamentally like I have a binary inside me that we all have, which is extreme joy and happiness. And then there's the darker, sadder side that can come about. And it's all about equilibrium, right? Like we just need to find that balance in both space. So dance and movement definitely brings that in. Otherwise, I think I feel things very intensely. Uh, 
you know, one way or the other. So that's never good when, you're, when your job is to be vulnerable, emotionally vulnerable on screen. So it's already exhausting emotionally. <laughs> So when, when something's, like, as you said, exhausting emotion, do you get back and you shake it off quickly? Um, do you, and, and does it affect you in the same way maybe it did 10 years ago? Yeah, it's, it's strange. I'm much better at it now. I think when I was a young actress, like I would let things affect me. And if I was having a bad time in life, I would walk onto set feeling a little, you know, to take me a little bit longer. But now it's like a switch. Like now I get in that car to go to set and I... I know what I have to do. You know, there's techniques that you have to do. And I, I think I'm better at, at, at just being happier. You know, I think I'm better at going emptiness in a positive way. You know, like if you're, if you've, if you're, if you're not carrying burdens around, that helps me be better at my job because I'm also more receptive to other people's energy. It also means that I can, you know, inhabit a script more completely because I'm not already clogged up with my own thing. So I, I prioritize that. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are obviously days where you are feeling you can't shake it, but you, you work through that. I think through, I, I use a lot of breathing techniques and just generally, I find that if I, if I'm around others and we're laughing, like it's always the best medicine and I'm a really silly person. So I've had a very, I've got a very well rehearsed way of like lightening the mood and doing that for myself as well. Just if I have, you know, someone around me to laugh with. How would you handle a pessimist? I think, you know, my early to mid twenties were incredibly dark for me. And I think I had that in me. Like I remember when I was a kid, teachers used to say, she always looks a little bit sad or glum to my parents who were like, she's always laughing and giggling at home. So there's very switch on, switch off um, these two parts of me. But, you know, if I meet people in that headspace now, because I think I've really worked towards, you know, using gratitude, using all of these other things that I really can see clearly. Um, it's just about hearing and listening, because I think a lot of it comes from loneliness. I think it, it comes from, you know, we all deserve empathy. And if, if nothing else, I can at least offer empathy when someone's going through a hard time. Um, and I don't, I don't mean to, I don't want to judge anyone for the mental state that they're in. because I think they're all legitimate and caused by different things. But if I can help, you know, take someone through a dance routine or like say silly jokes, which I have a lot of, I'll do it. <laughs> I guess when someone's in bad mood, so it's good to call you up. I, yeah, I would guess. I'll just do a voice. I'll do a silly voice. I don't know. What's the first word that comes to mind when you hear positivity? Sunshine. Mm. Mm. I think light and positivity are inextricably linked. Uh, one song that puts you in a good mood. Let me, let me get this, this, this for you. I'm going to do this properly. I'm going to do this answer properly. Um, let's see, because I did have a few. Oh, no, I know the song. Lionel Richie, All Night Long, is the song that will always put me in a good mood no matter what. Like, anything happens, I can just play that and everything's better. That's amazing. So predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being on Some Good News and taking the time. Thank you for giving us good news. Oh, pfft. Yeah, I'm, I'm just the, the, the messenger. I'm getting the good news, the, the, the good vibes from you. The, the sunshine's coming to the <laughs> And now I'm going to play all night long. Actually, I have to. Yeah, that's what have to. Thank you again for being on Some Good News, Pallavi. Make sure to follow her on Instagram or on Twitter. The handle's at Pallavi Shada. This was a very special episode on how to be positive of some good news. I'm your host, Giuliano Lenz. And thank you everyone for watching.